And we're back for more power washing. On to the mushroom forest. Caterpillar, let me ask you a question. If something is a problem and that something gets removed, does the problem get bigger or smaller? It depends what's underneath. My problem was a mushroom, although it only became a problem once it was picked by a wandering child, wandering child, as underneath it was a nest of millipedes, and with millipedes, where there's one dirty foot, there's a mill lots. Their fractious marching was a constant nuisance, so I told them the world is bigger than this, and blew bubbles to rehouse them yonder. Now my problem has become the realisation that the world is indeed bigger than this, so I've rolled myself into this cocoon where I shall remain until both my logic and my home are flawless. It's already taken quite some time. <laughs> Alright. At least millipedes are harmless, I guess. <laughs> so this is a bit of a bigger job than the others. So we've got a giant scaffold, that's good. And we have to do the bridge as well, that's interesting. Whilst you work, I'd like to run my thoughts through a paradox that's been troubling me. I usually try and avoid paradoxes, because yes, troubling indeed. Perhaps it's been troubling you too. No, probably not. <laughs> I hope not. Uh, can I just splash into the water? Or can I not even go? No, I can't even go around that side. Well, I don't know how I'm supposed to clean all facets of this then. Maybe I'll just have to stand over on the island and fire away. It's a metaphor on my metamorphosis. Okay. <laughs> I can tell already this guy's going to be odd. Not the nozzle. I want to get rid of the extension. A, metamor a metamorphosis, if you will. Okay, I do appreciate that. <laughs> Simply put, who am I? Uh, and hopefully the person who's paying me? That's what I mostly care about. <laughs> That's a lie, I already have more money than I know what to do with in this game. But he doesn't need to know that. How can I get the other angle on this thing? Tell already this is going to be really annoying. Okay, there we go. Had to get all the way down. Surely had to get really low. Other railing. Good. Ding, ding, ding. Next railing. Good. So it seems that you can get away with just doing these things from the top anyway. I don't need to try too hard on these. Okay. Posts, though, not so sure about. Presumably I can walk on the rest of this island, because the scaffold is on there. Yeah, okay, so I can get this side of these things, at least. Funky area, that's for sure. Very much like Zangar Marsh from Burning Crusade. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. You're very large. <laughs> I didn't think the Cheshire Cat was quite that big, but alright. I guess nothing is quite as it seems in here anyway, so... Bridge frame is all the one, okay. So the posts are separate. The frame includes the lower bits, even those that extend into the water. These do have multiple sides that I do need to clean off them as well. Does it extend both sides? That's what I will need to find out. There's the posts at least. Good. Take off the extension again. This one's going to take a while. The last two we ripped through pretty quickly. This one's already proving to be tricky. I guess once we get into the flow of it and are doing larger things like the main mushroom itself, for example, then it won't be quite so bad. But all these fiddly things, and there was another bridge on the other side, I'm fairly sure, so we're going to have to do this all over again. I do like the mushroom lanterns though, they're kind of cool.
Very annoying to clean though. Okay, so I've cleaned the post on that side, but not the mushroom. There we go. And this one I haven't done the post. Oh, there we go. Cool. Uh, then we've got the railing here. Post. We have to do the other side of it. Okay, so the frame is indeed on either side. But I haven't done the, there we go, haven't done the inside of that one anyway, so that's good. Reasonably forgiving about it. It probably doesn't expect you to get all the way down into the water, for example. So do the inside first this time, so when I'm going from the outside, I'll only need to do as much as I need to clear it, rather than having to go try to clean more than I have to, without knowing how much needs to actually be done. Ding 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 ding! Noise. Ah, uh, what's left? That post. There we go. Then railing, post, that's all done. So it is just the frame that we can do from the outside now. We have an extension on for that's far away, but it might not matter because it did seem to be fairly forgiving. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, it didn't matter. All right, then we just need to do all of the slaps. Now, not individual though. The path is just one big thing. It's like a bit underneath as well as the, the planks themselves are on a solid surface, so what's the point in the planks? <laughs> Seems weird. <laughs> okay. Would have made more sense for them to be individual planks, but then I guess it would be very wonky indeed. You might have to do going the other direction as well to get the right angles underneath the planks as well. We'll see. What even is this? Moss and grime. Okay. Makes sense. We are in a swamp. Begs the question why are we bothering cleaning it? <laughs> It's just gonna get filthy again. Alright. Oh, caterpillar cocoon. Not sure you want me power washing your cocoon, but alright. Might leave you till last. <laughs> just in case it does anything. Maybe he'll hatch. I don't know. Should probably jump on top of this mushroom now and work our way down. Only 6%. And we're almost 10 minutes in. Oof. Yeah, this one is tough. It's a small mushroom cap. Good. Be nice if it delineated them by colour, perhaps. Like small pink mushroom cap and stalk. Because otherwise, if I didn't finish it, I'd be wondering which it was, because there is another one. Yeah, there is a green one as well. Hopefully there's only one of each, otherwise it really would be confusing. But that's why I try and finish one completely before moving on to the next. Ding ding. Perfect. So there is another bridge as well, maybe we just get the fiddly stuff out of the way now. Might be worth it. Again, in this case, we probably should do it from the inside first. It's fine. We also put the uh, extension back on again, actually, at least a short one. It's only for when I'm doing stuff right beneath me, pretty much, that I don't need it. Oh! even clean the railing 
completely just from this side. That's interesting. It's very interesting. Deus Ex music honestly feels suitable for this sort of setting in some, some ways. Some sort of fantasy music would probably be more fitting, but... I should do a cyberpunk tie-in. Yes, I've already had Final Fantasy and Warhammer, so... Kind of similar, but not quite the same. There we go, here's the... <laughs> as we were saying about the fantasy music. This feels just a little bit too peaceful. I guess swamps can be peaceful. They give off a bit of a foreboding vibe, but they don't need to be intimidating. Some people probably find them relaxing. Yoda for example. I think he had his own reasons for going to take a I think that's all we can really hope to do of the frame from this outside anyway. Um, yeah, well, we've mostly finished these lanterns. We may as well try and finish them off entirely. Yeah. Just so I'm not thinking that they're done when they're not. Good, and the post. Excellent. Posts. Now, hopefully, all of these should just go ding as I run across them from this angle. I've already done them from the other side. So far, so good. The railing, I think I already finished. I said most of the railings just let me have it from the other side. Oh, and there's the frame as well. Perfect. Good, good, good. While we're down here. Nope. <laughs> Accidental collateral damage just from the posts on the other side. Firing off behind the mushroom lantern. Boing. Now, what would be fun is if you could jump on these and go firing off into the air. But maybe that's what you expect from the, the other ones, not the ones that are also lanterns, to be fair. Frame, there we go. So frame's got to be almost done. And okay, the other posts we'll do after we've done the walkway. The path first. Can we go with the green? Maybe. It's a little bit splatty, but not too bad. The sun appears to be coming out. Is it always like that? Didn't notice. What's the sky like anyway? You are really creeping me out. Cats are perturbing enough as it is without a giant neon colored one staring at me. Like something out of a 60s music video. Post. I think that was the last post. <laughs> Not that last post. Okay, so using the green I think was a mistake because now I've missed bits. There we go. It wasn't quite thorough enough, but not to the extent that I could tell. Okay, what? On earth is this? Oh, that's right, it's all of his, uh, he's a caterpillar, he has lots of legs, it's all of his boots hung up, or socks hung up on the washing line. Cute. I'm not sure it's very productive, me power washing someone's washing. I, usually you hang it up to dry, and 
I'm just undoing all of that, but never mind. <laughs> Apparently, that is, uh, it is what I'm here for, and his jumper. Okay. That's just funny. Imagine squeezing into that. You need a sleeping bag like this, that would be kind of funky, wouldn't it be? <laughs> Neon psychedelic sleeping bag. Okay, let's get these pigs. <laughs> Good. The actual things themselves will probably need to be done from the other side, but the pigs don't seem to care too much. Yeah. And of course, this jumper isn't actually hollow for some reason. Go, go figure. <laughs> I think they didn't. I think that one through quite enough. Also, I should really have taken the extension off. Never mind. Washing line itself is not clean here. Is it the same thing across both? That's it. Even it maybe, I can't tell whether or not I've just cleaned the same amount on both sides, or if it is indeed the same piece. I guess we'll find out. Socks, ding, ding. Ah, didn't get the last one. There we go. It's quite good to do these sorts of things first before trying to do the main bit because you can see we've got a, quite a lot of splash back happening. It's just back stopping all of our shots. Good. Now the washing line is almost done. What about this washing line? Yeah, it is all one piece, it looks like. The one piece is real. Ah, there we go. Just had to get it all out to where the nail is. I usually think of a mushroom being quite resilient enough to be able to drive a nail into it. But never mind. This is Wonderland after all. <laughs> our way down the stalk. I, I started it, so I may as well finish it. Oh, there's another small mushroom cat, like I was saying. They don't make a distinction between the two of them, so now we've started it, we should finish it. And stalk we'll need to do from the other side, probably from up here. Yep. There we go, good. Uh, standing on the washing line is probably the best way to do the rest of this bit at least. The stalk segment is a different stalk segment to what I was doing. Ah, okay. Didn't realise it was it's almost the same colour, but not quite. This is a darker green. But why is it not seeming like it's cleaning much more of it. What am I missing? Is there another bit that... Oh, it extends all the way up above there. Ah. Oh, so we have to climb up the fungus platforms to get up there to clean the underside. Alright, this is quite a large job. We're almost at 20%. We can get our next bit of commentary from the metamorphosing caterpillar. There we are. In my original state, I was simply a caterpillar. Of that, there could be no doubts. Could also be using the scaffolding to do a lot more of this stuff too. It was self-evident. I think, therefore, I am. Alright. Where are we going with this? But now I'm in my cocoon. I still think the same, but I am not the same. I am liquid. <laughs> yeah, they do kind of turn to mush, don't they? It is a genuine biological consideration of the fact that caterpillars seem to just completely remake themselves. I think therefore I jam? What are you, a jazz musician? 
Alice in Wonderland, the musical. I mean, given the nature of Wonderland and the surrealist nature of it, I, I feel jazz or ragtime is probably the most appropriate type of music to do for a musical. Acid jazz, specifically. <laughs> What's this fungus dick? It looks so weird. Doesn't look like fungus, quite frankly. Don't know what it looks like, but. And once again, I'm getting distracted doing stuff down on the ground when I should be doing the top. So we've crept our way slowly to 23%. But now that we've done a lot of the fiddly stuff down and around the outside, hopefully, we're making good progress on some of the larger elements, such as the edging. Uh, do we have to do, like, underneath there as well? It's curious, because the edging looks to me to be almost done, sure enough. <laughs> As always, call it into question and it shall ding. I think therefore I am. Ding. A ding therefore I am? Sure, something like that. Right, with that, or maybe, uh, no, the base goes all the way around, doesn't it? I was thinking it was segmented, but it's not. Once again, they're a bit inconsistent about what's segmented and what isn't. I'm also used to playing games that have sprint being a toggle instead of having to hold it. Um, never mind. Okay, what have we got up here? We've got his aromatic bubble blower. Shiny. Hey, Tori. You definitely haven't done this level. Well, this is only the third level, so you must have done the first couple. It's a bit fiddly to start with, but very colourful. Well, this part of it's colourful. It is kind of weird that you've got this rather dingy surrounds. Don't mind him. Um, <laughs> and yet this mushroom in particular is so much more bright and vivid for some reason. Now what happens if we get... can we jump on the bubbles? Oh, they don't have collision. <laughs> that would have been fun. They're flying off into the sky. I, I feel that this might be a good screenshot and possibly thumbnail. <laughs> it's the cat looming over us. It's interesting because the Cheshire Cat did show up in the time lapses of the last couple, but as soon as we got close to them, he disappeared. What am I missing on the bubble blower? Uh, it'll be some of these joins, I guess. Ah, the bit underneath too. What the hell? Oh, it's this fizz. That's right. Well, fizzes are cool, apparently. Was the Matt Smith Doctor inspired by the Caterpillar? He had a fez, there's the whole regeneration thing, it's kind of like a metamorphosis of a Caterpillar. <laughs> doctor Who is a Caterpillar confirmed. There's the secret lore that they don't want you to know about. we get a bit of an angle on the underside. What's the beating that I don't even really need to do much of the underside? The It's probably forgiving enough that I can just do the top and it'll probably ding halfway down without me having to have done most of the the bottom. I 
should take the extension off when I'm looking down at things. Much better. I don't think of caterpillars as needing a lumbar cushion for some reason. But, oh well. I guess if your chaise longue is as weirdly shaped as this, the more support the better. My back hurts just looking at this thing. Okay, maybe we do need to do more underneath than I thought. Oh, we haven't done this whole side yet. Oh, maybe we have. Almost done. The other side of some of these legs, there's the folds and the scroll work of the wood. Oh, there's the bit kind of in behind the pillow. There we go, the bit behind the cushion. Now we need to do the bit underneath. Mushroom cap segment. I do like that it is segmented. It makes no sense. That's kind of not how mushrooms grow. But that's fine. <laughs> Should also be doing this looking down probably rather than staring up at it. There is also a scaffold provided to me so that I can do the sides without worrying about falling, which is probably a good idea. But that also involves moving it around, and that gets tedious, so we'll do what we can without it and then tidy up the rest from the safety of the scaffold my eyes are losing it with all of this bright colour right there <laughs> I had hoped that I'd squeeze this in within like an hour but this one might take a little while it is a bit fiddly I mean, admittedly, part of that is my own doing, because I'm trying to do it like segment by segment, so you're just swish-swashing across, regardless of whether it's on the same segment or not. But given that they're all called Mushroom Cap Segment, I don't really want to leave bits on that aren't finished. Oh, this one like curves weirdly. There's a bit of uh, texture bleed there. They got a bit loose with the paint tool. I'm a bit surprised that the bits weren't just painted separately before putting the model together. How big is this segment? I thought it was just going to be like a small bit at the top, but no, it goes all the way down here. Do they go round the edge as well? Does that wrap over perhaps? Not sure. Now let's work our way up with the one adjacent. I go down one up the next, I guess. this stuff in here? Grime, dust, oh, and bubble stains, of course. What is in those bubbles? Will we ever know? And can we try some? I'd rather not. Oh, that, ooh, this one's almost done. It actually stopped here. Must have missed bits on the side, perhaps, that we were, yep, there we go. That we were not quite on. purple one like would it have hurt them to do like purple mushroom cap segment pink mushroom cap segments you know just make it a little bit easier to determine if we miss a bit on one and have to come back and find it at least we'd know what we were looking for I guess you can just select it from the list and it will link for you but not everyone likes doing that just like I prefer not to do the the tab spam to elaborate yeah 
Yes. Again, they really need to speed that stuff up. When a caterpillar wraps itself inside a cocoon, it does not simply change from a caterpillar into a butterfly. I mean, it does. It's just a multi-step process, that's all. Alright, so that was the... Okay, we've done the pink one now. Okay, so the the pink, uh, the purple and the like midnight blue is the same. Its head does not simply grow more refined, repeat with its long, elegant tongue. Its body does not shrink, grow hairy, and sprout wings. No, it turns into a primordial soup first. <laughs> Process is far more singular than that. It's not singular, really. I'd call it more. Whatever the opposite of singular is. Multitude? I don't know. So, yeah, now that we've started doing a lot of the larger pieces on top, the percentage is ticking up a little bit quicker. Because, yeah, we were barely at 20. Well, that was bound to happen. <laughs> We were barely at 20% um, after about, what was it, 20 minutes or something? I can't actually remember now. Seems to be going very slow anyway. But it is picking up the pace a bit. We can do the rim from here. Just a, a light bit of rimming. We are going to have to move the scaffold around, I think, because there's not really a convenient way that we'll be able to do this any other how. We'd, we'd have to put on the extra long extension or something from the ground and that would just be tedious I think it's going to be less tedious to use the scaffolding for its intended purpose <laughs> much as it pains me to do so doing the underside is going to be a bit annoying and we're at the steep part here I think the the bottom part of that pink mushroom cap segment I think is going to be better done with the scaffold from the ground or from the side while I'm doing the rim around the outside we've got some lime green mixed in here too funky yeah, this color scheme really is like some of the transition bits in the I think it was the first Austin Powers <laughs> The first one or an earlier one? Oh, a later one rather. I can't remember. The one that was actually in the 60s or whatever. It's just all the funky psychedelic swirls. And another bright pink one. It's a case of, unfortunately, this thing would look better from much further away. <laughs> kind of a more distant perspective would be nicer, I think. But, uh, can't easily get that. Maybe from the scaffold we can put it as far away as possible, but I don't, I don't think we can go beyond this kind of moat area interesting to see what it looks like and what angle they take for the time lapse that might actually look the nicest and kind of bring out a lot more of the colors a bit better right, i think that is the top done we're literally halfway there now 50 percent done so that's good uh yeah time to move this around a bit i think because we've done as much of the rim as we can easily see from this spot i guess we can go down here and do some of this. We don't have an extension on at the moment, do we? Let's, let's rectify that. We don't want to have to move this around too much. We are also going to be on the mushroom itself. There is these stalk segments, there's the fungus platforms. I think there's going to be a bit of a platforming part of this level, which I'm not looking forward to because that's not my forte. Let's just go full extra long extension for some of these bits underneath. 
because while we will have the opportunity to do them from closer and from standing on the mushroom itself, sometimes the angles that you get looking up at things is more annoying than the angle that I get here looking from the side. That's a good way of doing this bit as well. So I don't think we're going to get a much more side-on view of this stalk. And yeah, when we're standing like on the stalk, a lot of this stuff is probably going to be impeded by the angle that we'll have. We won't be able to see behind this bit at all. So. And when we move this over there, we're probably not going to have a great angle on this part of it. So we'll clean this bit right now. Nearly sure this would not be healthy for a mushroom getting its gills power blasted, but whatever. side as we can. I'm glad for the extra long extension, that's for sure. We might get another angle from further around over the other side there, but I'm not sure where about to even be able to put the scaffold. I'm going to be pretty limited, I think, on the footprint. I'm even doing this side of the room here actually a bit annoying, I think. We'll see. Well, let's just clean as much of this as I can as well, because once again, when we're really up close and personal with the mushroom itself while standing on the platforms, we are going to be very restricted in what we can clean of the actual thing itself that we're standing on. This, I think, that I'm spraying right now is the far side. Yeah, we'll have a better angle of that later. While I've been working, while you have been working, I have completely deconstructed myself. Congratulations. How are you still using a phone? Is this telepathy messaging now? I am now a liquid which simultaneously remembers both what it is, was to be a caterpillar and what it is to be a butterfly. How can you remember something in future tense? This is the question still, who am I or what am I? I mean, sentient butterflies or caterpillars is not something we generally expect to have to deal with, so... I am not a xenobiologist. I am not the person to be asking. Probably don't have to do all the bit, bit down here because now this is the sort of level that I'll be standing on, so I won't have to worry about getting tricky angles like that. Oh, blue spores. Ah, okay, I was wondering what is blue that would be covering this? Yes, the mushroom spores themselves. So we do get a nice perspective further away up here at least. So yes, we can clean things from standing on them, but, you know, it's a lot less dizzying cleaning things from further away and not having to move the perspective instead of having to run around and, and look at things from different angles. So maybe the challenge is to do as much as I can from here instead. We were talking last time about mini challenges like not using the ladder or scaffold or anything like that. It's a case of a, another sort of challenge is using it as much as you can. <laughs> Seeing how much you can do with only standing on ladders and stuff. I think we just have a step ladder and the scaffold. I haven't actually seen a, a sort of ladder you lean against things. Which makes sense. There's no regular angles on this thing that you would use. 
Now the problem is, is that I'm so far away I can't tell if I miss just like little bits that I'd then have to just run over again anyway. So it's probably not productive in that regard. And like this bright green stalk segment looks like it should be practically done but it's not and I wonder if it's just bits that I've missed from firing at it from so far away might actually be counterproductive at that point all right well we've done as much as we can from that angle I think let's see where I can put it down over here that should be good we can't put it really any closer to the bridge so I mean, we, can, we can just get around the edge of the rim there oh that was the last bit of the segment in fact okay that's handy that's that done at least uh, let's get rid of the extension and just stand up close here do the rest of the rim that we have visibility on try not to fall off We should at least be able to move it over there as well. Okay, let's put an extension on again. Alright, should I go down another level? I guess this is still good for the rim bit on the far side. Oh, we're actually at the, we're pretty much at the extent of what this can do, even on the extra mole. Okay, so we're just going to have to get that from the platforms on the inside instead. So I'm not sure how well it'll do like, spraying from the ground either. I think that's going to be too far away, even with the extra mole. Oh yeah, there's a little house door. There we go. <laughs> I think we should actually move this a little bit closer now. We've done the rim and that's the main thing. If we move it around here a bit closer, then what angles are we going to get? Yes, we get that side there. In fact, we might have wanted to move it somewhere in between first. Oh, well, that's one. 72%. We've got a quarter of an hour before I have to take a break. Can we finish this in that time? I suspect not, because there's a lot of fiddly stuff remaining with all of these angles that we're having to do. And the fact that it's just slightly too far away to do a lot of them from here. So we've got the door done, because that would be a really annoying thing to do from any other angle. Well, there's that stalk segment done too, that's good. Can we get the orange one done, I wonder? I'd be better off doing that while standing on it though, I think. Now that I've done the higher up part. What the hell is this thing? Just a butterfly shrine statue, okay. Fair enough. probably better served by being up close and personal though the far side of it would actually be hard to do uh can i put this down over here yes good because i think that's going to be the best angle to clean the back side of this And also the top of the shrine as well. So the other side we're going to have to do without the scaffold. That's kind of fine I think because the other side is like concave so we can kind of stand in it. We're going to have to get her a bit underneath 
dick area though, I think. like a misma. What more is there to do of the statue itself? It's the edges, perhaps? There we go. Alright, the underside of the shrine base. The plinth. I do like the word plinth. Not one you see used very often. Funnily enough, it's an interesting texture this thing has too. What? Oh, Once again, I just start to ask the question of what remains to be clean? The, the very thing that I just hit. Yeah, it's an odd little texture that I've got going there. Very cool. We'll do what we can of the top side at least, and then yeah, there's the the side or the underside is also all just deck. So if we make sure to do everything on top first, then we don't have to worry about trying to get angles underneath that we don't have to if it would just give it to us anyway. Be nice if it was segmented, that's for sure, instead of just one giant feature. Okay, so they did a great thing on the entrance hall and having it so that it was segmented but they didn't continue it on for all of these features here fortunately it would be nice if the uh, pathway the wooden deck pathway it's not really a deck if it's a path more of a boardwalk I think literally speaking oh, 80% sound of your work is so soothing yeah that's why I do this quite frankly <laughs> That's why I enjoy this game, because the sound of it is soothing. I am feeling altogether more myself again. Jolly good. Wouldn't it be wonderful if everyone had a cocoon in which to pop whenever the world got a little too, a bit too much? It's called bed. <laughs> generally. <laughs> Don't really get to spend much time there myself though. I'm sure dear Alice could do with one about now, <laughs> probably. I can't remember the position in the story that this all takes place originally, but the, the caterpillar's involvement that comes into it. I wonder where she's got to. Indeed. Should have a, like a Alice costume that you could wear as part of the DLC. That'd be funny. All right, so doing a little bit of the underside over here, but we've still got some top side to do over yonder. But since we're here, now we're done a bit under the deck there. Oh, maybe I didn't have much to do over here. It is all the underside bit now. Oh, we'll see how much of the underside we have to do. And whether we have to try and get different angles on the holes that are inside in order to clean it completely. Let's get right down low. And perhaps from this angle as well. Very close now. Can't be too much remaining. Okay, maybe here. But the angle doesn't let me get much lower than that. Hmm. Alright, it's being a little bit annoying. There we go. I probably went a bit too fast over it. 84%. Nice. And that's with quite a bit still to do up top. There's a lot of the like fungus platforms and stuff that we're yet to do. Once again, we're fixating a little bit too much on the, the ground floor. I'm just putting off the platforming that I know is coming. <laughs> uh, am 
mushroom base is almost done as well. Get the edging done. Always good to get the edging out of the way early. Apparently, there we go. Apparently we weren't as thorough as we first thought. There we go, the deck, good. And now the mushroom segments. Which aren't quite as eye-poppingly brilliant as those that were on top. Or it's just because we're in the shadow, I think. <laughs> That's nice. Being quite so dazzled. Excellent. Uh, ditch the extension again for this. Probably need to do a bit in the seam anyway. Just a bit up the top as well. Yeah, it's probably some above that platform that we need to do. We'll do all the undersides of these anyway, and then hopefully once we get up on them, then they'll all just get done. So just fungus platform. I'm sure that that type of fungus has a particular name, if it's table fungus or plate fungus I think. It's an awkward bit down the bottom here, we get in between the plates. I didn't need to go prone, I just should just need to crouch I think for this bit. It's the bit of the base that I hadn't done, must be another little spot somewhere else. Uh, oh, that segment goes all the way up there, and that one goes all the way up there, right. Okay, they're not going to be finished anytime soon then. Let's keep moving. Uh, why are these platforms not done, though? Okay, that one is. This is very close to being done. Okay, good. This is going to be... Oh, it's all the one? Okay. Maybe... Yeah, this side here. Come on. Give it to me. There we go. It's those last little bits that take the longest. <laughs> Another annoying bit. <laughs> This small stalk just has to be right there, doesn't it? <laughs> just in the most inconvenient spot. And unfortunately, we couldn't really put the scaffold down over this side to be able to do these parts of these segments. Yeah, we're going to have to just get up on the platform and we're not going to finish this within the hour. We've only got five minutes to go. That's fine. We were going to continue on afterwards anyway. And this extends a lot further up as well, so we're not going to get the not going to get the ding. Tell you what, this scaffold we can at least bring over here, right? There we go. That should give us a little bit of a better angle on some of the stuff. Uh, also, we still need to finish this rim off. That's true.
We're going to be too far away from the stalk segments, I think, to get a very good angle on those. I think most of the rest of the rim bit is actually on the inside now. Oh, <laughs> apparently we hadn't done that cap segment. Well, I'm glad I found out about it by completing it now, instead of waiting until later and having to figure out where it was. Even so many of them share the same name. side angle of the top of the stalk segments there. The gill bits don't clean the best just because we're hitting it at such a shallow angle. Hey, platform done. Don't need to worry about it when we're standing on it that way. Excellent. Here's the bits that we couldn't see of the stalk segment as well. I think there's a bit more on the far side too. Yeah, it'll be on the other side of that platform probably. Try and tidy up some more of the loose bits that we can see from this angle. But like the far rim side there we're barely touching even with the extra long extension. I mean we could chuck it on turbo or use the red nozzle probably but we should be over there anyway soon. Hey! Stalk segment done. Good. And this one should almost be done. It's just little crevices at the top, I think, is the problem. Uh, we can see if we can move the scaffold around a little bit further just to get another angle on that. Can we get it ooh, just in here? Oh, we can. Good. It's kind of clipping onto the wooden platform, but apparently that doesn't matter, so that's good. Hey, there we go. Uh, this one here, maybe if we go up another level actually, we might still get a good good angle on it. But here, we get a better angle here. Oh. There's my alarm. Alright, get what we can done, get what we can done from this angle. Uh, there's a bit of a, yep, there's the gold one done. So this green one's still not. I think it, it wraps around over the far side a little bit as well, isn't it? All right. All right, let's see if we can move this scaffold around a little bit more again. It's close to where it started, but just a little bit back. So we get a slightly different angle in here. I don't know what's... Oh, the, the, oops, there's bits on the rim the other side that I haven't done yet. Okay. And then, yeah, the stalk segments still haven't been finished. Some more bits on these platforms. I think it's about time we just start climbing the platforms, to be honest. Let's go stubby. This platform's done, this one is not. Presumably there's a bit on the top. Yep. It's platforming time. With weird angles to knock ourselves against. The really not going to help this. I'm going to have to like go down to that one to get the rest of this one as well. That one's finished. That one's finished. Good. Can't be much more of this segment still to go. There we go, perfect. Do that platform. 
All right, so from here we get a much better view. Oh, that stalk segment is also not done yet. Oh, we are just ramming our head against the mushroom. That would be, this this would not smell nice where we are right now. Very earthy. It's just as well we have a helmet. Now this should be the rest of the rim. Hopefully. But I can see spots, so I know that there's bits that I haven't done quite well enough. So I just have to run around a little bit on that. This segment that we're standing on as much as we can. There we go. Okay, that was that one, not the one I'm standing on. That's awkward. <laughs> Uh, it'll be the underside. But we want to finish with the uh, chrysalis, ideally. Chrysalis, cocoon, whatever the difference is. I feel there, there is a difference, but I can't remember what it was. But I thought butterflies was chrysalis specifically. Gills are so almost done, but not quite. I think because we've missed bits from when we've been going around with the long extension, now we just have to kind of waft over a little bit here and there to just try and get the rest. There we go, that worked for the rim. Can we make it work for the gills? Or are there any large areas that we've just completely missed that I'm not aware of? Anything like around the top? No, that's all clean. We also don't have a checklist yet. Ah. <laughs> Alright, that would do it, wouldn't it? That, that would definitely do it. Let's see what I can get from here. There we go. Okay, that just works just standing on the ground. There we go. <laughs> we didn't have to worry nearly as much as we thought we did. Okay, what have we got left? There was one of these fungus platforms still. Ah, uh, you. Good. You as well. Good. Deck is done. Alright, checklist time. Cocoon, sure. Mushroom base and cap segments. Oh, he missed a cap segment. That's annoying. On the table as well. And wooden deck edgings. Okay, the base I thought I had finished. But there's... Okay, just a little bit that I hadn't. Uh, the deck edging is up. Okay, no, I can... <laughs> I can accept that one. That is very clearly not done. Probably not done on the other side either, I just neglected this part completely because I got distracted by the scaffolding. Which I am going to need to use to climb up again now. Because yeah, there's a the table is the table that's on the top, I believe. And one of the cap segments. Is it one of the ones that was on the side? Uh, 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 let me up, let me up, let me up. Uh, I'm just stuck on the rim. That's awkward. And now I'm stuck on the scaffolding, okay. Just stuck on things. Stuck on you. Thanks, Lionel Richie. Uh, probably had to do the back or the underside. No, apparently not. What have I missed on the table then? It, it looks very done to me. But apparently it wasn't. Okay, now which cap segment am I missing? We've done the pink one. Ah, this yellow one. Is it an angle that we missed here? Something that we missed down the bottom? Oh, it goes all the way down here. Okay, it's going to be something that we probably needed to get from the scaffold there. Well, that's annoying. Oh, the orange and the yellow are separate as well. That also comes into it, perhaps. This is annoying. Uh, is it under the chair? Under the chair. Alright. 
And now we just have the cocoon to do. Oh. This might tickle. Oh, also I've been doing this whole thing without a uh, skin equipped again. Actually, we should do flower power for this one. There you go. <laughs> it keeps resetting. It's really annoying. Oh, look at that vibrant polka dotty cocoon that he has. Fantastic. We're gonna have to go up higher probably as well because there's all the wrinkles. Yeah, let's go just short extension from here. And we're gonna have to do the other side as well. Okay, scaffold. You're coming with me. It'll be so much easier with the scaffold from over here. Hopefully, why? Why can't I put you down there? Are you clipping into something above? Yes. It's too tall. It was clipping into the mushroom. That's annoying. Down the side. Still not really the right angle. Let's move this around here a bit further and go up a little bit higher. That's better. Why does it look like there's so much more to do than I expect? Okay, I'm going to have to go all the way up again, aren't I? Back up to the top. Come on. It's failing the platforming again. I, I keep getting caught on the edge of it, which is really annoying. And this bit here that you have to jump past and you jump out and then turn back in, it seems. Whatever. Alright, now, what am I missing? It seems to show so much more missing than I would expect based on... Oh, and now we're just standing on it. Can I get up onto the segment from here? Yes, good. Okay, this whole side here. Fair enough. And we There we go. <laughs> Did it on the way down. Fantastic. Oh, metamorphosis. Clean the caterpillar's cocoon last. I was forgetting that there would be achievements for each level. I, yeah, I'd forgotten about those. I should check what the next two are uh, before starting them. And I'm going to have to go back to the first couple. But anyway, time lapse. And yes, this will look a lot better from further away than it did from close up. Yeah, I feel that we're not really seeing the best side of it. But never mind. And that finished very quickly. <laughs> I think it would have looked better from the other side, looking across instead. So then we'd like to see the washing line and his jumper, which is completely hidden, and the shrine would be closer. Anyway, not a speck of millipede football fall to be found. How wonderful. I stand, emerge from my chrysalis atop the mushroom in a glorious sunny spot. My wings are sprouted. You should see them. They look finer than a haberdasher's curtains. And just in time, too. If I'm not mistaken, it appears to be exactly the moment to discover just how much bigger the world really is. Would it be nice if you actually got to, like, there was an animation of the chrysalis breaking open and him emerging or something? But, you know, whatever.